Hello everyone, hi, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to another episode of a Hannibal Reaction. This is Proud Live, and my name is Matt. Hello, never mind the new set. It's not really, it, it's just the same shit. Now we have like a, there's a piece of furniture that they were gonna throw away, and I was like, can I have that? And they were like, yeah, so, so now I have that. And I just put a bunch of shit in it. Don't worry, it's not gonna stay there forever. I'm just, it's just there until I buy a new desk. Because this desk I'm using for my computer is like, it's like 25 years old. And I need a new one. Until then, we, we're gonna have that and I'm gonna put shit in it. So, so I might as well make it like part of the set or whatever. So there's my Gumpla there. There's a couple boxes. There's a, there's a Yoda. There's a, right around there, there's a Yoda. Uh, but never mind that. Uh, hello. Oh, by the way, this is the first week in like a month where I'm not sick. Last week, I was so sick. I was so fucking sick. You guys have no idea. Like, I actually think I I might have gotten, like, post-vaccination COVID. Because it, it can still hit you. It just won't be as hard. But I feel like maybe I got it. Because my, I got sick, my sister got sick, my mom got sick. So I was like, okay, somebody got something, right? There's no other reason why I would have been that sick. But, okay, that's... We're derailing immediately at the beginning. But Hannibal! What happened last time? Uh, Jack Crawford is finally investigating maybe Hannibal a little bit. Tiny bit. Uh, also, Atlanta's fucking Hannibal. So that's fun. Um, Chilton actually thinks it's Hannibal. So at least we have one other person who's like, oh shit. <laughs> and he said the magic words Hannibal the Cannibal, which was really funny. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, I think that's the short version of it. Well, Hannibal is killing again. He's... We, we see a... Oh, oh! He left behind, like, a bunch of clues that tell us that Will might be innocent. Because, because like, the Chesapeake Ripper outed himself as the copycat killer because he had trophies of every single... every single victim. So it's like, oh, Will is innocent? And then... We also have the fact that at the end, uh, what's her name? Miriam. She showed up. She was like in a ditch in the middle of nowhere, but uh, Hannibal left all clues that would point to her. I'm not sure what game Hannibal is playing at. I really don't know what he's doing, so I suppose we'll see what happens. I just really want him to get caught. But I know he will, at the end of the season, probably. But it's like, oh my fucking god. is is This journey is crazy. Alright. Uh, okay, let's just go, probably. Yeah, sure. Oh, Patreon! Should I, should I get the Patreon? There's a pop-up on screen now. I've been upping the production quality a little bit. Mostly for my own fun, because, damn it, editing is boring. Um, yeah, I've been doing that. Also, full... Uh, you can get up to two episodes a week on Patreon now, instead of just one, on early access and full length. So, for the same price, mind you. So yeah, if you wanted to see two episodes of Hannibal into the future, like a clairvoyant, you can do that. But yeah, anyway, uh, that's good. That's it. Hannibal, Season 2, Episode 7. Let's go. How broken mentally is she? He keeps replaying this over and over. So was it that bitch where she was at when she sent that? Thank you. I knew you'd never stop looking. He kind of did, though. We haven't got to. I have a very strong suspicion of who could it be, though. She doesn't remember. She's very aware. She just doesn't remember what happened, which she probably got drugged, which is what I thought. I remember a dream about drowning. I'd wake up to the smell of fresh flowers and the sting of a needle. I was reckless with your life. I was reckless with my life. I saw what I needed in you and I used you. I let you break the rules on my behalf while I hid behind an liability. Even when he took my arm, he told me what he was going to do. I went to sleep, woke up, it was gone. He said he wanted to give it to you. Can you identify him? Can you listen to his voice and identify Hear his voice. Yes, 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 yes! Is this witness what you know? She doesn't identify the voice. 
the entire time he was dealing with her, he was like putting on a voice. He was like, now I'm going to take your arm. Is this his play? The fact that she, she doesn't identify him. So it plays to his benefit. And that's why he let him find her. Hmm? Girl? It's not him. Okay. Like, did he put something in her? Like a, like a fear or something? Hi, Chilton. You're like surprisingly our only ally right now. Oh, is he, is he getting out? The federal prosecutor dropped all charges. It's just out. Cool. I feel like we're getting played here. Because of course we are. I would love nothing more than to see you trade places with Dr. Lecter. Don't worry, me too. Confess to bonding with Hannibal Lecter of your shared practice of unorthodox therapies. Dr. Lecter with me, you with Abel Gideon. I was suggesting you convince Jack Crawford however you can. Like your life depends on it. <laughs> I had given up on her and I gave up on you too. I thought she was dead. And I thought you were a murderer. You didn't have to find me, Jack. He was like yelling. <laughs> you just had to listen to me. Yeah. I put Miriam in a room with Hannibal Lecter. She stated definitively he is not the Chesapeake Ripper. That definitive enough for you? No. Good. I mean, he purposely left clues to lead you to her, so... Okay, back to normalcy. Back to season one. He is out here helping us out. This feels good. Swinging. I missed the swinging. He wants you to catch someone. Like he wanted you to catch me. You will find something that will lead you away from Hannibal Lecter. Hey, Your that's me. Already done that. Yeah, that, that's it. It's a long time to have Hannibal in your head. You can't trust her, Jack? That's true, actually. Doggy! <laughs> Welcome home. I hate you and I'm fucking Hannibal now. I would like to offer my services on the Ripper case. Pro bono, of course. My dude, just say what you have to say. Yes, I have an agenda. Living. <laughs> Everyone who believed Will Graham about Hannibal Lecter is dead. Except you. I would like to remain not dead for the foreseeable future. <laughs> he buried memories in both of them. Is he suggesting we do the same for Miriam? Jack, I dug those memories out of Will. I yeah. them out of Miriam. Is it one of those cool ones that actually do function? Yeah, the, it does. When his voice low and even would pull me to him, neither of us are really free. He's not done. What the fuck is this motherfucker playing at? Hmm? The same unfortunate aftershave. Ho, ho, ho. Aren't you curious, Will? Why you? Why, Miriam Lass? What does the Chesapeake River want with you? If I am the Ripper and you kill me, who will answer your questions? Don't you want to know how this ends? <laughs> Walks away. How are you still alive, my guy? Like, and she saw the, the schematics of the body parts and shit. Yes, she saw that one. That exact same one. Okay, no. No, no, never no, That's different. But she was remembering for a second. Waking. Calm. Waking in a pleasant room. That's ex the exact same words. What was the last thing you remember before making the call? Enough points for a courtroom, but it triggered a match in the system. Hannibal Lecter. After all these murders, the Ripper's gonna leave a print now. Will said whatever that evidence says. we found, it would lead us away from the Ripper. Well, we also found sodium amytal and some okay, no. in Miriam's blood. <laughs> Dr. Chilton used to call. He's trying to frame Chilton. Who are we saying is the Chesapeake Ripper? Dr. Lecter or, or Dr. Chilton? I mean, he's framing Chilton the same way that he framed Will before. Like, I mean, Chilton's gonna get fucked because he's stupid. Oh my god, Hannibal fucked Chilton up. Is it Gideon or... I mean, it's someone. 
some fucked up crime or whatever. But it might be Gideon. No, it's Gideon. It has to be Gideon. Because if it was a murder, it would be too obvious. It has to be that he's keeping Gideon in his house. Oh, he timed it perfectly so he would die! And it's missing all limbs, too. Call Jack. I mean, even if you call Jack, it's way too much. Hannibal's right there. He committed so many murders and he framed Chilton super hard for it. And Chilton's such an idiot and the only thing he cares about is surviving. So he knows that he'll have to like fucking go on the run and maybe commit more crime. Here's the thing, like Chilton's like best option is actually just like Jack call Jack and be like, I'm being framed. I'm not saying that it will work, but it's actually his best option. Oh, it's the FBI escort. That's what it is. Okay, there we go. Yeah. But this is too much. I have the same profile as Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> same medical and psychological background. Of course it would be me. Now, if you run, you look guilty. You did not run, you look plenty guilty. Evil Gideon was half eaten in my guest room. I have corpses on my property. You just throw up an ear. Everything is not what it seems. The Chesapeake Ripper is still playing with us, all of us. The Chesapeake Ripper's not playing all of us well. He's playing you. Jack, wait. I'll bring him out. He's got a gun. Good. No! Oh my god! Just stop, man, just stop! Please. Not like you to hide an achievement. The achievement is not mine. Whose is it? God. They're using coercive therapies influencing Abel Gideon and Will Graham to point the Ripper investigations in false directions. You cannot see it. And you will not see it until it is too late. If he had confessed like Will told him to do, this might have been avoided. Call. She's like, that was his voice. Wait, in a quiet room. Hannibal fucked with her mind. <laughs> How did he accomplish that? Oh my god! Alright, and now these fucking idiots are gonna be like, well, we got the Ripper, GG. As far as the FBI is concerned, the Ripper case is closed. That's why Jack is probably not gonna have any backup when he comes in to fight Hannibal at the end of the season. I come in. What, a, what the you fuck are we doing? Maybe. Are we just gonna have fucking hang out and see who plays mind games harder on each other? I'd like to resume my therapy. Alright. This is some fucking crazy dumb shit. How did it make you feel when it framed you for murder? And it murdered your friend? Alright, that was the end of Chilton. <laughs> Which was... Here's the thing about Chilton. He was not... I said before that he was like the worst character in the show. And to a degree I feel like that's true. But also not really. Like, because like you, you, you hated him when, when he would essentially play against us, against the truth, because of his own ego. But at some point, it became oh, this is like one of the like only people that would be like oh shit, it's Hannibal. Oh fuck, I know it's Hannibal. Oh fuck, oh shit, man. Because and and like, it, it's so previous episode and and this episode. His, like, ego became this thing of, like, kind of almost funny. Of, like, oh, shit, man, I gotta survive. And so he also became the perfect scapegoat for Hannibal, which was something that I kind of thought about. Um, not for any, like, particular backgrounds or anything, but because, like, 
I was like, okay, Hannibal's gonna fuck with Chilton. It's either gonna kill him, but that would be really sus. So he would make him look guilty of something. So either he would lose lose credibility or he no, he just made him take the fall for all Chesapeake Ripper murders. He just went into his house and he was like, Alright, he has all the books, he has all the things, he has fucking Gideon, he chopped all all his fucking limbs and shit. And like the fun part is that at the beginning of the episode, Will told Chilton, like, you should tell Jack Crawford everything. Like, everything that you've been doing and that you were uh, bonding with Hannibal Lecter over the fact that both of us had unorthodox um, things done to your patients. Because that would be confessing to doing something that's kind of bad. And, you know, it's like, okay, fair, like... So he doesn't want to do it, but if he had done that, he would have had more credibility to the fact there's some motherfucker. There's some mosquito, and it actually like caught him, and it escaped my hand. So it wasn't a good catch. I'm gonna Mr. Miyagi the shit out of that fucker. So if he had done that, he would have had more credibility, but uh, he didn't, and now he's dead. And like the fact, okay, so this is my question. <sighs> How the fuck did Hannibal manage to make Miriam think that it's Shelton? Because, like, that's that's not fake it. That's not faked. Because I was thinking maybe he, like, she got, like, a, like a, I don't know, like a Stockholm complex or something like that, like a syndrome, and he she would protect Hannibal in some way. Of something like he fucked with her head in some way where she would protect him, which I suppose is actually what happened. But it's it's not something that she's aware of. What is happening is that he made her think that Chilton did it because when she heard Chilton's voice, she had a full on mental breakdown and a, a panic attack, and she just fucking grabbed the gun and fucking killed him. By the way, really good shot. She's an FBI trainee, so I believe it, but no, I honestly don't believe it. Like, okay, that was a really cool shot. It was like, you know, like one shit go, one shot kill, head. But that was like, she was distressed, she was shaking, and she's missing an arm, and she hasn't been in the field for two years. How did she land a shot so clean? Maybe she wasn't aiming for it, said. She was just she just shot it randomly and just happened to land and said whatever. It is not the most unbelievable thing that happened in the show. But I'm wondering how did Hannibal manage to convince Miriam that Chilton is the one that did it? Like because he in he in like ingrained Chilton's voice in her mind saying those words when it was actually Hannibal and like that's the thing it's that Hannibal said the exact same words when they were doing the therapy thing but she didn't recognize Hannibal as the one that said them so did Hannibal like have some dumb talk with Chilton years ago and he made Chilton say those words and he recorded them and he was like, oh, this is gonna be this is gonna come in handy two years from now. Like, what what how did he do that? I'm thinking he must have fucked with her brain in some way, but I don't know if you can fuck with someone on that specific level of like, I'm gonna say things and then I'm gonna make you think that someone else said them. Some other specific individual said them. It was like and you would have have to plan that Chilton would have been the one already. How? I I have so many questions. And I don't know if I should question them or not. Because this show kind of works in JoJo rules. Which is, it makes sense for the sake of moving the story forward in the direction it wants to go. It doesn't make sense on a realistic sense. It only makes sense within its own narrative sense, right? And you should have, you just don't have to question it too hard. But uh, that's what I'm wondering. But okay, Will is back out. Will is out. Will is innocent because, of course. But like, so I was wondering in previous episode, what was Hannibal's game? What is he playing? And what Hannibal ga- games is is he's like, all right. 
I'm going to release something that should theoretically in paper give someone definite proof that I am the Ripper and they're going to say he's not the Ripper. So that is going to help me out because it's it's like definite proof that I am not the Ripper then. And in fact, he went a step further and he was like, I'm going to make myself definite proof that someone else is the Ripper. But like, here's the thing. It's that like, if you were watching the show, like, okay, here's the thing. I don't know from the perspective of the character so much it is, but from the perspective of the viewer of the show, I would look at this and I'll be, I mean, I understand. I know who the killer is, right? But if I was like Jack Crawford and I saw Chilton and it's like, okay, it's either Chilton or Hannibal, I would be like, Ugh. Not because I know it's Hannibal, not because his name is Hannibal, but because Chilton's fucking stupid. Like, Chilton is not smart enough to play all of this in this manner. Chilton is just not smart enough. Like, I understand that Chilton does some shady shit. Yes. But Chilton is just an idiot. He really is. He's the stupidest character in the entire show. Literally. There's no one else that's more stupid than Chilton, except maybe one of the two forensic dudes. Like, honestly, the the young one, not the old one, the young one, that one, that, that guy's kind of dumb. But I, I, we don't even get a lot of screen time with them. So I don't, re and most of their scenes are gags. So I don't know how smart they are. It kind of doesn't matter. But fucking Chilton is definitely the stupidest character of the ones that are supposed to not be in the show. So the fact that someone could go, it was Chilton all along. I would be like, how? Fucking how? Because you can tell that he's, he's not playing dumb. He's playing smart, but he is dumb. So I would never be like, oh my god, Chilton was the master. Like, are you are you serious? I understand. I understand it works because it's like overwhelming evidence against Chilton, right? And it, it kind of doesn't matter, honestly. Because you're not investigating Chilton because Hannibal orchestrated a situation where Miriam would kill Chilton on site. So she disposes of the problem. We cannot do further investigation. Um, we cannot get any, like, either a confession or anything out of, out of Chilton, but we have overwhelming evidence against them. And Miriam says it's him, like, one of the, the only victims that survived recognizes that it's Chilton. So I can see the FBI just looking at this case and being like, yep, case closed. So that's probably the way it's going to be next episode and moving forward. They're going to be like, yeah, Chesapeake Ripper. It was uh, it was Frederick Chilton done. Easy. GG. Good game. Hit the showers, gang. And Jack Crawford is going to be like Jack and Will are going to be the only people that are going to be like, but OK, hold on. Like, I I, I want to I want to make myself I want to be certain here, you know, but um. I don't know if there's a lot they can do. Because, like, okay, here's the thing. Let's talk about Will. Will came out. And he actually went to Hannibal's house with a gun. And he was like, I'm going to fucking kill you. And Hannibal managed to charisma check his way out of getting killed. And I think that the thing that he said was, if you kill me, then that's it. Like, if you kill me and I am the Ripper, then that's it. You get nothing else. It's like, all right. That guy is gone, whatever. Whatever his reasoning or purpose of thought process doesn't fucking matter. He's dead. Fuck it. Is that what it was? What made Will stop? The fact that Will is like, no, I'm going to catch him and I'm going to catch him properly. And he's going to fucking confess. Why the fuck did he do this shit? Like, is that it? Because like at this point, Will knows it's him. He knows. Children knew. Like, all these people knew it's Hannibal. So... Like, by the way, Gideon ate all of his body parts. At least a leg, but all of his body parts were removed. So it was kind of fucked. <laughs> but uh, anyway, there's a lot of like dismemberment in the show. Miriam last came back, she's missing an arm. She's gonna probably continue to be a, 
a character for at least one more episode. <laughs> Because I know she's alive by the end of this one, so she could be dead for the, by the next one. Or she could be in jail, or whatever. It, it, she could be deemed crazy, or murders, or she will die. Because here's the thing, it's that while Miriam became Hannibal's, like, the thing that saved them, at the same time, she is kind of a loose end. And you know what? It's better to just dispose of those as, as the best of our ability. So I can see Hannibal just killing her after she stops being useful, which she already is. So fuck it, just kill her. I can see that happening. Uh, okay, what else? Uh, yeah, the, the fact that Will, and at the end of the episode, Will is like, all right, Hannibal, I'd like to resume my therapy. And here's the thing, Hannibal knows that Will knows that it's Hannibal. <laughs> Will knows that it's Hannibal. Hannibal knows that Will knows that it's Hannibal. None of them, both of them know who the other is and what their intentions are. So I think that what's happening here is that Will is like, all right, Hannibal, we're going to have therapy sessions. You're going to try to understand me. I'm going to try to understand you because, because I need to understand because I need to catch you. Is that what it is? Do we have this like really super dumb a scenario where Will is like, all right, I gotta understand him so I can catch him. And Hannibal is like, well, fuck it. Yeah, I'll try to be on. I'll try to understand you so I know what you'll do so you won't catch me. Is that what it is? Both of them are just mind gaming each other. Just being like, all right, I'll try to think four moves ahead and he'll think five. And that's when I'll think seven. Because you'll expect that I'll do six. Like, is that what we're doing? We're playing Yomi on each other? Like, that's so dumb. Like, the only reason why they're hanging out together is because Will he wants to catch Hannibal. So he wants to know what's going on in Hannibal's head. So he could catch him. And Hannibal knows that Will know that knows that it's Hannibal, so he's trying to think what Will do what what Will is doing to understand him, so then he knows how to play him. That sounds so fucking stupid, and it's exactly the kind of shit the show does. So that's kind of fun. That's kind of fun, honestly. I'm down. I'm down for that. The fact that Alana fucked Hannibal, and like, here's the thing, is that she felt betrayed over the idea that Will would try to heal Hannibal, and that was like the, the final straw. And then it's like, Will is actually innocent. He didn't kill any of those people. He's not crazy. And then she's like, Will... Okay, I'm glad you're not crazy, I'm glad you're innocent, but you tried to kill Hannibal, and Hannibal is a good man, and I'm fucking him now. It's like... Here's the thing about Elena. It's that I don't like her, what she's doing right now, because, like, here's the thing. Elena as a character feels like... And I'm not saying this is gonna be the case the entire way, but she might die soon, so... But... It feels like, you know when you have a show, and you have a female character, and the female character does not have anything going on that is not related to another major male character? That's what Alana feels like. Because the only thing she was for like the majority of the show was like, okay, I'm, I'm Will's number one fangirl and love interest. And she was like super die hard, no Will is innocent, or not innocent. She's like, Will is crazy. He would never willingly kill those people. He didn't do anything wrong. You know, like she's totally die hard for him, which is good to have. But she was like die hard for him because she was the love interest, which is like, yeah, fine, whatever. But the fact that within like a single episode, she flipped. And she was like, fuck Will, I'm gonna fuck Hannibal now. And it's like, girl? Girl? Like, because and, and it feels like she jumped from, like, the main character to the main antagonist. And it's like, you're still secondary to both of them. You're still not doing much on your own. So I, what I'm saying is that I hope that she gets better. In the sense, like, I hope that she does more. Like something meaningful, important in in the show because it feels like she hasn't yet. And the only reason why she's in scenes 
is in order to like nail harder in on which team she's in. So that's kind of what it feels like. And the only reason why she's in either team is because she's fucking one of them. And it feels like... It really feels like, alright. I, I traded Beverly Cats for this. I, I guess I didn't. But like, I lost my girl. Who was actually cool. And Atlanta's still here. What are we doing, man? That's what it feels like. I suppose I traded Beverly for Miriam. I would be down to have Miriam. Uh, she might die soon, too. <laughs> Some of your characters could die soon. Like, Jack Crawford might die at the end of the season. Uh, Miriam could die soon. Alina could die soon. I Like, the only person who was, like, actually... Chilton just died. Gideon died. Like, the only persons who's The only people that are not destined to die are Will and Hannibal. At least until the end of season 3. But everyone else could be on the chopping block. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see how that goes. I hope Alana gets better. Oh, yeah, Miriam. Uh, Miriam could stay. If Miriam stays, that would be cool. Because she was like a pawn of Hannibal. And maybe we can, through her, we can like get to Hannibal in, in some way instead of away from him. Because she was in the study of Hannibal. And she was looking through the... The, the papers of whatever that he had and he saw the picture that she saw the first time and then Hannibal in two years at least Hannibal was like oh shit I shouldn't have that laying around I suppose so he, 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 he changed those papers or whatever he doesn't have the drawings of the bodies anymore which is how Miriam uh but the thing is that Miriam saw that drawing in this episode and then it caught away, and then she looked at them again, and it was different. So she was tapping into his her memories a little bit. So maybe that could come in handy, like maybe, which is why I think she'll be a loose end, which is why I think she'll be disposed of. But I would like it if she stayed. By the way, not to say I want to, but if I had to miss the to, 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 to lose an arm, like if I lost an arm in a tragic accident. And I'm not saying I want to, and I'm sorry if you did lose an arm. But, if I did, and I got a cool prosthetic, one of those that, like, move a little bit, I wouldn't want it to have, like, the flesh that makes it look like a real arm. That would be kind of lame. If you have a robot hand, you would want it to be a robot hand. I suppose that is subjective. That is subjective to the people. Some people just, would just want to, like, fit in as much as possible. You know, if you want to walk around the street and you don't want people to look at you weird, that's fair. That's good. I understand that. But if it were me, I would come up with a cool robot design. And I would have like, yeah, hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. I, I would rock that shit. Not to say I want to. Not to be unsensitive to the people that do miss arms. But I would have a robot arm. I mean, it looks really cool in Metal Gear Solid 5. <laughs> okay, whatever. Mo uh, uh, move away from that. But I, I was just thinking. I was just thinking. I suppose... I Okay, so I was thinking that Chilton's best chance would be to immediately call Jack Crawford and be like, Okay, I'm being framed. Because Jack Crawford might, like, 10% like believe you. But no, like, that would not have worked because if he had, like, turned himself in... Miriam would have just killed him anyway. So no matter what he did, it was fucked. I guess his best survival chance was fleeing the country. As dumb as that sounds, I guess that was his best option. So yeah, they all got played on the rogue element that was Miriam Lass. Miriam Lass is a fun character to have here. Because she's so like fucked. She's so like fucked up. Uh, like, she's a wreck, you know? Like, an emotional, mental wreck. And sh she should be. Like, there's no reason why she should be fine. But the thing is that she's Hannibal's pawn, at least for this one act. But the thing is that now she has performed her one act, so maybe now she'll die. And I hope she doesn't. I hope she sticks around. But, uh, yeah. Now we're entering this weird thing that I mentioned before that could happen, which is Will is out of mental institution jail and now he's roaming free 
and he's just chilling. He's just vibing. He knows it's Hannibal. He 100% is convinced that it's Hannibal, but there's nothing he can do. He could go and just fucking plug him right now. And he thought about doing it, but then he's like, actually, I want to catch you. Because otherwise, this really doesn't... Nothing ends here if I just kill you. It's just, it's, it would just be like, hard cut, show finale, no resolution to anything. And Will is thinking, okay, maybe we're going to need some resolution to this. I'm going to need to understand why you're doing this, why you did the things that you did. How, how do you think about these things? What is the way you think? So, I like that Will stopped himself. And now we have this weird thing where the main character and the main, like, the protagonist and the antagonist are both just chilling and vibing. And they both just like, <laughs> they're both just like, all right, I know you're the bad guy. And I know that you know that you're, the, you know that I'm the bad guy. Anyway, let's hang out. <laughs> so it's this really weird thing. It's a really weird situation we got ourselves in. So we'll see how this goes. Um, yeah, this the season finale is probably going to be some crazy wild shit. So I'm excited for that. But yeah, I think that is it for this Hannibal reaction. Thank you so much for being here. And all right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning into this Hannibal reaction. If you would like to catch next one or the next next one two weeks ahead, you can do this over at Patreon. Check out the link in the description for that, social media, uh, everything else. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.